Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here we will demonstrate how to set up a true site policy for process monitoring using Linux KM. In this scenario, we will monitor a process named PSM Star Client SH, which runs in a Linux host. As you can see, the process is currently running and Linux KM will be configured through a true site policy to notify if the process stops running. First of all, we need to select Linux, Linux processes, and then processes in our true site policy. Then give a process label. This is the display name given to be represent in true site monitor. Provide the process string name. Here enter a string that matches the name of the processes to be monitored. The input may also be a regular expression pattern. Then move to minimum count. Here select a value to set the minimum number of process instances that may be running on the local computer. If the number of running processes instances falls below this value, then the patrol will issue an alert. Then select the maximum count. Here, select a value to set the maximum number of processes instances that may be running on the local computer. If the number of running processes instances exceeds this value, then the patrol will raise an, alar an alarm. Then select if this is an acceptable process owner and enter the user IDs for the accounts that may own the process. Then you can select if the process will be restart automatically. This means restart by the patrol agent. If you select no, this will indicate that the process must be restart manually if it stops. If you select yes, then you need to provide the start command, which is basically the path of the script which will be restart. For example, in this case, you need to provide the path of the PSM star client.sh and you need to give the username and the password which will uh, restart the process. In this case, we will provide patrol and patrol password. And finally, go to process alert options. Here you have two things to configure. The first one is the alert delay count, which is basically the number of events that you will wait or tolerate before raising an event. And you can choose between uh, alarm type or warning type. And this is all for this tutorial. Remember, if you have any query or doubt, you can always check our knowledge articles in our VMC support site or raise a case with our VMC support team.